I'm pleased to announce the release of a new optimization tool named Gecko. Gecko is a Python package for optimization. It specializes in dynamic optimization in particular with differential and algebraic equations. Gecko provides an interface to AP Monitor as its back end, and it's coupled with large scale solvers for linear, quadratic, nonlinear, and mixed integer programming. And the modes of operation include data reconciliation, real time optimization, dynamic simulation, and nonlinear model predictive control. So, what I want to do now is just go through a very simple example just to show how to get started with Gecko. And uh, we'll solve this optimization problem. It's the Hoksiakowski number 71 in the benchmark test set. And we'll just run through how to set up and solve it with Gecko. So the very first thing that you'll need to do is just go to your Python distribution. If it's in your path, you don't need to navigate like this. But I'll uh, go to Python and go to scripts. And uh, inside this directory, you'll see the uh, pip installer. And so I'll do pip install and gecko. So it's going to go out and get uh, the dependency, which is AP Monitor, and it's already satisfied the NumPy dependency. And you could also uninstall it if you want to. Okay, uninstall Gecko or reinstall it again with pip. Okay, so we have Gecko now included with our Python distribution. And I'll go ahead and exit. It works with Python 2.7 or 3.6. And we want to set up this, uh, this optimization problem right here. I'm just going to go over here to uh, be able to write on this. And we have an objective function right here with four variables. We have x1 through x4 with an upper bound of 5 and a lower bound of 1. We have two constraints. One is an inequality constraint that the product has to be greater than 25. And then the sum of the squares has to be equal to 40. I'll go back to the web page where this is uh, hosted. This problem is uh, a common one for any solvers that are developed. And uh, there is method number one with the traditional AP monitor Python. Here is SciPy optimize minimize. And you can see the solution there. And this third one is going to be the Gecko solution. So let's work through this and just set up our optimization problem with Gecko. I'll move this over to the side just so we can see it as we are working through this. The very first thing that you'll want to do is just import Gecko. So I'll go from Gecko import capital Gecko and then import NumPy. I'll initialize my model. So this is going to create a new class that's going to be my Gecko model. And if you want to, you can run the help on this M object now. And it'll give you some help on some of the different commands that Gecko provides. We'll define a parameter first of all. This is not necessary, but just to show that we can set a parameter. We'll set um, m.param and give it a value of 40. This is going to be the thing that's going to be on the right side of our equation over here. I just set this up as a parameter. Next, we want to initialize some variables. So I have x1, and I can set that equal to m.var for variable. Or I could do it, uh, initialize all of them at the same time. And I'll do that here with uh, m.variable for i in range 4. I'm just going to initialize all of them at the same time. And then I might want to give it some initial guesses, initial values. And so I'll just set the dot value property of those variables equal to the initial values that are specified in the optimization problem right there. Next thing that I need to do is go ahead and define the lower bounds. For all of them, they have a lower bound of 1. Okay, I'll define those. 
This is the lower bound that you see right here. Now also upper bounds, those are just going to be equal to 5. Okay, now I get to equations. I'll go ahead and define my very first equation, which is this one, the product, is going to be greater than 25. Okay, so I do m dot equation, and I have the product of all of them is greater than or equal to 25. The next one is going to be the sum of the squares, and so I'm just going to add up the sum of the squares. I have to use the double equality sign for uh, this constraint, and you have this parameter that we defined up above equal to 40. I could also put 40 in there. Next, I want to define my objective function. This is a thing that I'm going to minimize, and it'll minimize by default. If you need to maximize, you can multiply by negative 1. Okay, and there's my objective function. So now my problem is set up, and now I can solve it um, after I set some options. So if I want to, I can change the I mode. This changes the mode that you want to run the problem in, and there's a little bit more information on this in the documentation. I'll just set it equal to 3, which is steady state optimization, and then I'll solve it. Okay, this is solving the optimization problem. If you set remote equals true, then it will solve it on a remote server. You don't need to install the local executables. You can just use the uh, remote publicly available server. There's also an option to run locally as well. Okay, and then we want to print some results. I'll just print the x1.value. Similar to how we had set it uh, before, the initial values, it'll be returned and we'll be able to print that. Okay, I can also make this just a little bit prettier in the printing. X1, X2, X3, and X4. Okay, so let's run this now and see the output that it gives us. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just um, run this with IDLE. This is Python 3.6. going to run through the optimization problem. The solver is IPopt. It, you can see the amount of time that it took to run that, and you can see the final objective function value as well. And then down here, we see the results for the individual variables that we had returned. If you scroll up a little bit, you can see some of the iterations that the solver took and some of the default options that it ran through. Okay, so that is a brief tutorial on how to solve this problem with Gecko. Uh, it's basically just import, you know, pip import the Gecko, import it into your, into your script, initialize your model, set up parameters, variables, and equations, and an objective function, and then tell it to solve and return the solution. Okay, so that's it. Um, Hope you enjoy the package. Uh, again, thanks to Logan Beal for leading the development of this. And if you'd like a little bit more information, it's available here on the PyPy, uh, python.org website. And uh, there will be more updates available. So check back frequently. Uh, you may need to uninstall or update uh, occasionally just to get the latest enhancements and uh, features that are available with Gecko.